Hey, what's going on everybody and happy Easter to you. I wish you all a happy Easter and next weekend we're wishing you all a happy Cocoa Fest because we'll be at Cocoa Fest in Chicago. But um, this has been a program that's been in the back of my mind since I did chapter 19 and it's been burning a hole in my brain. So I wanted to get it done because um, everything that we went over in chapter 19, which was dealing with circles, um, got me thinking about writing a single demo that would demonstrate all of the different ways we could do circles. For example, drawing circles of different radiuses, right? Um, drawing circles with the different height width ratio. So we could make tall circles and we can make wide circles and then drawing different circles with different arcs. And so I took all of those concepts and I wrote a demo program that's going to continuously loop and is going to continuously show all these different circle concepts. Now, what I thought I would do, which might be interesting, was rather than just show you the program code right away, I'm going to show you the program in action. And I want to see if anybody can either send me a comment or an email or even better yet, send me, uh, email me the actual program. Like if you if you're able to write this program or something similar to this program, save it on a virtual disk image and then email that to me. I would love to see who can actually make this program or something close to it. And so here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you some clues on what I did. The first clue and the only line I'm going to show you is line 10, which says T string equals circles demo. So there are Let's see, I'm gonna, well, you're gonna see it in just a second, but one of my demos is drawing expanding circles by radius. That's one of my routines. And that is being done with a four next loop. Another one of my circles, is, and, and so that's one demo. So I have an expanding demo. I've got a tall demo, I've got a wide demo, and then I've got clockwise and counterclockwise arc demos. So each of those demos is a little section of code, and most of them are done with four next loops. And so you can think of each demo as a little uh, section, a little mini program in itself. In between those demos, I've got three main routines that I call, that I use over and over and over again. The first subroutine I, that, I, that I call upon is to take this string here that I call T-string from my title screen, and it creates a title, string, a title screen for me. So whatever I pass off to this subroutine and whatever I say T-string equals in quotes, it's gonna clear the screen in a random color. It is going to center the title text for me, this text can't be greater than one line or 32 characters, um, it will center that for me. And then it's going to play a couple of musical notes to pause that not only lets you read it, but gives you a little something to hear. So I've got a title screen routine that I call that I call over and over again. So every time I switch to a new demo, I have a little title screen that pops up that says what this demo is going to do or what this new circle command is going to do. So that's one subroutine. The second subroutine I call each time for each one of these little demo segments is one that's that picks random numbers to pick a random p mode to pick random foreground and background colors and to um, set those foreground and background colors to clear the screen and then to do a screen one comma zero or one comma one so you can get our choice of our two different color modes so that's one routine that i will call each time that randomly sets the modes the colors and the palette choices and i call that routine um, each time i start a new chunk of code to do a new graphical demo and then the last thing i call is just a little routine that pauses for a particular kind of time that just generates a pause so whenever i'm doing a routine that's kind of animated and shows you um, things and you see kind of a herky-jerky motion to those things happening i call that delay routine um, to pause in between animation um, cycles and I also call that pause routine in between each little segment of the program to let you see what was on the screen for just a couple of seconds before it goes on to the next one and then it just continues to loop over and over again so I basically get about four or five little graphical routines I wrote to do different demos so you can kind of think of this as four or five demos and then there's just a few routines I call before each demo to do a title screen to set the graphics mode and to allow me to pause within the routine and between routines before I go on to the next one so now that I've said that I'm gonna run the program I'm gonna let it run two or three times so you can see what it will do and then I challenge someone who's watching this to try to figure out how I did this 
and show me the logic. And as we say in the old school work when you're doing your math, show me your work. Don't just show me the answers. Let me see the work. So yeah, I would love to see somebody take their best guess at the routines I came up with to do this. And you can do that a number of different ways. If you want to copy and paste it and put it in a comment to this video, that's fine. If you want to email it to me as just in the body of your email, if you want to email me the routine, that's fine. Uh, even better yet, if you can save it onto a virtual floppy disk image and email me that, I would love to play the samples that I get from the people who submit them to me. So on that note, I'm going to leave you with this demo. I'm going to let it run two or three times, and I wish you all a happy Easter, and I can't wait to see what you all come up with.